So I think this whole like COVID scare is like already passed by. So I think it's in the best interest for the students to just bring them back for in-person classes and try to get rid of all the Zoom classes. Yeah, I agree. Think? No more hybrid. No bit of hybrid. There's too much work to do with for the professors. Yeah, I can't believe the professor wouldn't let me make up the quiz. Uh, I was sick. My professor isn't even recording the lectures. I just have to deal with it and stay sick. Yeah, I honestly, I think we should go talk to the university about like bringing Zoom classes back or kind of making it hybrid just to make it uh, better for kids that are sick and didn't test the COVID because there's a flu going around and um, we don't know if it is COVID or not too because uh, there's a lot of negative results and stuff like that. Yeah, I agree with you for the best for the students. Yeah. I got an email today from one of the students talking about how they're sick. They don't even have COVID I, and they want hybrid classes back. And they also think that just because they're sick, that they can miss class. No, I've gotten several emails like that before uh, this semester. And I've seen on the attendance record of them not showing up at all and then seeing their grades bomb and all that. And that's kind of why I see we bring back these Zoom classes or even these hybrid classes, how the students could abuse them possibly with the university, just never show up when they say they're technically sick, so they just get a free pass. Yeah, I understand if they want like a mental health day, but at the same time, like you're paying for your course, you need to show up. I know there are going to be kids on Zoom not paying attention and they're just sleeping on Zoom, so there's no point in bringing a hybrid class back. And the kids that want to access Zoom, they can just ask a friend for notes. Exactly. So I really do, this is why I still believe that we need to bring back in person classes so we can have that attendance to them and keep them accountable for their participation in these classes because they registered for these classes and they should do the work and participate in it as fully as students who've done it full time before in the years prior. Right. The season is among us. The Brazos County Health Department has said that there's already been 500 flu cases reported in this last month. One of the health department district managers says that it's higher than last year in 2019, but that we can continue to get vaccinated and get flu shots so that we can reduce the health effects of having the flu this year. While we are currently not at a spike in the Brazos Valley, it is still important because as flu season approaches and increases the amount of cases, we could potentially see a spike in flu symptoms and deaths in the Brazos Valley as well as COVID deaths. It's important to have respect for each other in our community like students and teachers and to promote safe habits and to stay home if you are not feeling well. From our teachers and they said that it would be too difficult to implement and they feel like uh, the attendance would just plummet but I don't think that makes sense at all given how previous uh, previous courses were online or mixed and we still had enough interactivities between students and the, I think it's more beneficial that way. Yeah no I agree I have uh, some professors that uh, it's super simple they just click on the recording and uh, for the kids at home they just get to learn that way um, and it doesn't affect anything in our class or take time out of the day. Um, and I just I feel like it would be more beneficial to us if, if they offer that to us. Yeah, and I think it also is a detriment to student workers who don't have that and they have more responsibility on them to really do well. And now they're, if they're even sick, they have a lot more, oh, I have to go to work and I have to go to school. And it's just a lot more detrimental to uh, the student body as a whole. Yeah.